Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to shorten the URL. In this example, you can see the left hand side we have the original URL which is longer than the right hand side. Here right hand side we have the shortened URL like shorturl.com slash 1, 2, 3. So how can you have this one? Well, firstly you can think like the hash algorithm like SHA-256 or MD5. It may or may not accept an answer because first Firstly, well, the SHA-256 is having the 64 digits inside, 64 characters inside. Sometimes it's even longer than the original URL. Secondly, the hash algorithm sometimes makes duplicated ID. Trust me, it makes the duplicate ID sometimes. So, well, using the Python, I'm going to suggest using the dictionary like this. For example, we can use the original URL as a key value and the ID as a value in the dictionary. For example, the first original URL, we have the ID 1. The second one has ID 2. In this case, we don't have the duplicate. Well, then if we have the, some restriction like the, having the six digits only, six character after the slash value, like shorturl.com slash six characters, then if we use the base 10, supporting like 0 to 9 in this shortened URL, you only have the millions of the URL. In this case, you can think about the base 62 using the 0 to 9 and the lowercase a to z and the uppercase a to z. In this case, we have the 62 characters per one slot. For example, we have the six digits here. You can see in this bottom, we have six digits here. If we use the base 10, we have the 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, while the base 62 is 62 by 62 by 62 by 62 by, by okay, you, are, you know what I'm saying. So here we have the uh, 56, 800 times more numbers than the base 10, which is a lot humongous than the base 10. So let's implement this using the Python now. So here we have the Jupyter Notebook and here is my test case. So now we have the URL shortener. I'm going to implement this shorten URL function here, def shorten URL and self. I'm going to get the original URL here. So firstly, I need a dictionary to save this original URL with the ID, right? So URL to ID is my dictionary and I need ID starting from the one. Okay, so here, once you have the original URL, I want to store this one in my dictionary using this one as key and the value is going to be self.id, right? And what I need to do here, I need to uh, have the shorten URL shorten URL is going to be what it will be self.id is a shorten URL, right? So I'm going to say this shorten URL is a self.id and I need to increase this self.id by one. Why we need this one? When we have the next URL, we want to give the next ID. We don't want to duplicate ID here. That's why I increase one here before I return the value. And I return the this value like the short url.com slash, right? shorturl.com slash plus str self.id here. No, shorten URL here. Okay, in this case, shift enter, shift enter. I got error because URL to ID, I didn't say self. Because it is class, you need to say self.url to ID. Then here you can see one, two, three, four, five. But here you can say, you can see google.com, google.com, same URL, but we just gave different ID, which is wrong. So we need if and else condition here. So as we go this part, it doesn't change anything, right? But here we need if part, if original URL is in self that this URL ID. That means if the URL is already existing in our dictionary, we just search it and return the shortened ID here. How the ID is gonna be self.url to ID and the search this one using the dictionary, right? The original URL is the key. So this will return the value, which is the ID. So we get the ID here and that just return this ID to shorten URL, right? Self shorten URL is going to be the ID in this case. Okay, and then now you can see the google.com, google.com, we now just got the same ID like this. Okay, so we just implemented the base 10 algorithm now. 
Let's implement the base 62 instead of the base 10 now. How we can do this one? Well, instead of the ID, we can call the encode function here. I'm going to implement this encode function. So set the encode here and here, right? Here and there. And I'm going to implement this encode function now. Def encode, I'm going to get the ID here and I'm going to encode this base 10 to base 62. I need characters which is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. One, one more, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, now we have the 62 characters here, and I have the base is len of characters. And then now we have the base. I need the return value in the list here, and in this return value, I need to do the calculation. While id is greater than zero, I need to divide by base so that I can make the base 62 numbers from this base 10 number. How value is going to be id and uh, divide by base is a value, and I need to put this one in my return value with the characters and the value as an index. That means I divide by base and the remainder is going to the value and the value is the index of these 62 characters. Okay, and then ID, I need to reassign the ID with the divided number here. That's all. And then I need to return the string value here. So join return value. But this return value actually have the reverse number of the base 62. So I need to reverse it like this. So this means I want to reverse the values in the list and uh, this means I want to uh, convert this list as a string. That's all. And uh, shift enter, shift enter. Now we have the space 62 numbers here, but here let's change the ID to like the 100 here so that we can see base 62 numbers here. See, now you have the characters instead of the digit, digit here, 0 to 9. And if we have like the like million right this is a million right then it's just like four digits here and if we have like a billions here it's still six digits now you can you made uh the shorten url shortener supports like a billions of your url in the six digits here okay when you want to practice yourself you always can come to my github website and clone download whatever you are familiar with and practice yourself Thank you very much and uh, see you on the next video.